wanted to give you guys a chance to get a little peek behind the curtain on how I create parts of my documentary. First off, just wanted to show you this uh, cool screenshot I captured in Empire Total War using my mod Empire Extended, which is what I use for all the video game visuals, the animated visuals of like actual characters. But for today's uh, little sneak peek tutorial on how I run things, we're going to be uh, talking about battle maps. So how I make things like this occur. Now this is a little sneak peek on the Battle of Clisau, which is the documentary I'm currently working on. So uh, yeah, there it is. All the programs I use are completely free. So this is the DaVinci Resolve free version and it's got pretty much everything you could need not locked behind paywalls so it, it's a great program and then I use GIMP to create maps so yeah we'll just jump through I'll walk you through my process and hopefully if you guys are interested in doing this yourself this will be a good start <sighs> got my nice homemade sparkling water Anyway, so the first step is creating a battle map. Now, I, I generally find a reference. So this is my reference battle map. And with that reference, I trace out land features. And um, this is kind of an artistic style. I make my own battle map so that I can turn on and off different features, different names, and create different types of uh, effects so you don't necessarily need to make your own but I, I would recommend it. it gives you more control and you don't have to worry about copyright or anything but anyways after you produce your map uh, make sure it's larger but still in the the same proportions as a as a as a screen the so like 1080p uh, ratio but you can do it, you can double the ratio to make it this twice as large and this twice as large. As long as the ratio is correct, it will work in DaVinci Resolve. So then, what we're going to be working with today in DaVinci Resolve, and if we run into some uh, moments where the things go slow, I will have to forgive my laptop, which is recording and running a rendering engine so it might not run very smoothly but we're mostly going to be working in fusion so to give you guys an example this is uh the layout i use in fact i'll uh move that group a little closer this is one infantry unit as you can see right there i have all my basic controls right here so i can change the size with the transform, I can keyframe it to move across for different frames along here. So if I go here, set a starting keyframe, and then halfway through, set a new keyframe and move it. Of course, you don't have to manually set the keyframe. Uh, you can, it will then, as these frames go by, reach that point. You can also bend it, move the curve. So there's lots of options to play around with as you're going on. But built into this, I also have the shatter. So when a unit breaks, this, is, this has taken me a bit to figure out. So I'm still making it work. But basically, we get I can animate this over a series of frames. So let's say size right here is zero and 10 frames later, we'll put it up here. And we can even move it a little bit. So what that would look like then is as this was going, yeah, you would see it kind of looks like it shatters. Now, there's a lot more fine-tuning I can do, but I want to walk you guys through how I'm building this out. 
So for that, we are going to bring in my Clissau map, and we'll just do a new one real quick. So right now it's just an image on my timeline. I'm going to go ahead and hit Fusion with my cursor over it and the clip selected. And that will bring me into the Fusion page. Now this is a, a node system. So if you're unfamiliar with it, there are plenty of tutorials out there. I've taught myself this, uh, but I will run through some of the basics. How nodes work is from left to right uh, is layered. So the basically the way it projects something, what you see at this final, this is your final result. This is your start. Everything you add in the middle, it's layered on in the order of the things from left to right. So for example, we want to add, let's just do a Polish infantry. Just going to drag and drop it in here. That says media two in. Now, if I wanted to, I could hit F2 and rename. Not necessarily though, not necessary though. So if I wanted to add this on top of the map, which is media one, simply take this and drag it over. It creates a merge. Now I have it there and I can adjust it how I see fit. However, my process is that I drag in the Polish. I think a drop shadow separates your, um, your units from the, the map a little bit and it looks very nice. So I hit shift space, which brings up the select tool where I can type in drop shadow and add that in because I already had my uh, unit selected the drop shadow uh, is automatically connected if this wasn't connected you could just drag and drop okay and then we'll click on this shift space again do a transform perfect alright so now we have these three stacked and now I'm just going to go ahead and merge it in. Now we have a much nicer uh, looking shadow. In fact, the way I do shadows is that I pump up strength, drop the distance and angle. Angle doesn't really matter, but... And then I just increase a little blur and make sure I don't get any solid lines showing up. So I think that looks nice. To... I could just change the size of things on the media tab, but I I think transform is your best, uh, most consistent way, and that will make, uh, it'll be much clearer as we go on. But I'm just going to drop this down to 0.3. It's going to still going to be huge compared to, normally I do 0.07 for units and 0.09 for characters, but we'll do it more visible just so it's easier to spot all right the next thing so this is when I'm I'm not having units fight this is good enough and I can just copy control C click and then control V and line this up and then attach this and attach this to the out and I have two well I gotta select my transform and yeah, now I have two. And I can rotate, keyframe, all along this transform. So that's, that's the way if there's no combat. However, if there is going to be combat, I have to have a way to show the unit uh, breaking and shattering. So this process, still something I'm working on. I've, I've tried particle emitters and stuff like that. But so far, this is the best way I've done it. So... After you've built this, just click off to the side, shift space, and type in background. Add. And this background, I make completely white. And then I drag it up into the other viewport. 
So now we have a left hand viewport. It's dragged into. Next, while my background is selected, I click on the polygon tool. It's gonna make everything disappear, but that's okay. I'm just gonna draw a series of jagged marks. Like that, and then close the loop. Gives me a really basic uh, jagged mark look. All right, that's that's the next step. Um, next, we go onto the background again and hit shift space and do another background. This will build this merge uh, tower. This is how I like to organize it. This background, we're gonna have it with the solid color. Um, before we had just this background visible in the left port, we want to make sure we drag up the merge so that we see that now this black background is in the foreground and this background is in the background. We want to switch those, so you click it, hit Control T. Now this is the foreground and this is the background. All right, with this basic design done, we can go ahead, I'm actually gonna move over the, center the, the jagged portion a little bit. Um, we, we now have both these piping into the merge to look like this. If you want, you can make your polygon have a little bit softer edges, whatever your look you want to, to have. I like the sharp edges, maybe a, a hint of softness. Just so it's not too harsh, I guess. Um, the next step will be to pump this uh, merge into a bitmap. So I'm going to go ahead and hit shift space, bitmap, type that in there, hit add, and now both. Now the merge goes into a bitmap. This is a good start, but now we have to get this bitmap connected to uh, our main actual thing. Because right now nothing applies to our actual shape, our actual unit. So in order to do that, we need first step, click, click on your bitmap and under channel that says alpha, we're gonna go to luminance. That's step one. Next step, we're gonna have to connect the bitmap to a mat control. So let's go ahead and, and do that on our new one here. We'll go bitmap, shift space, mat control, add. Oh, and it looks like I did that in the wrong order, so I'm gonna get control Z. It's gonna add a mat control out here and do this the good old fashioned way. There we go. Now the bitmap pumps into the mat control and you can see I left a gap here that was on purpose. We're gonna put the drop shadow into here and bring this, oops, and bring this down to transform. Maybe it's this down to transform. Here, let me check again. I had to figure this out the hard way. So we'll, okay, drop shadow goes from the output to mat control one background. And our bitmap goes to mat control garbage mat. So, drop shadow into background. And you can see down here in the bottom left, uh, when I hover over, it shows me what it is. Mac control one background. So that's what we want, background. And then the bitmap should go into the garbage mat, which is 
this one. All right, I'm not exactly sure what was going there. I disconnected all my uh, nodes and just carefully brought it to the garbage mat and it connected. So we're gonna go with it. This one to the background and then the output to the transform. And with that, as you can see, we already have our shatter thing ready. So then how you control it, just go to merge two and you can adjust your size. And this is something that you can keyframe in. So here it could be there. And the next keyframe, you could have it completely gone. And you can even bring it over, make sure it's gone like so. so with that done if we were to look at this yeah we'd uh destroy now you can play around to get the best effects for this uh, but this is the simplest way to do it because once i'm gonna go ahead and d delete these keyframes um with that there you have control to at some points maybe you want it to just start shattering and I'm actually gonna move this over you want it to start shattering a little bit you can adjust this however you see fit to show the shatter process and if you want it to be just partially shattered but still moving you click on your transform and everything above that transform moves with. So you have freedom to still treat it like a full unit. The only thing I would do after that is to clean up a little bit. So I'd select all of these nodes over here to the left, hit control G to group them. You can rename groups with F2 uh, and just call it chatter control. And then you could even group this, control G. And with that, you would have one full unit and just two nodes, which then you can repeat by hitting control C and connecting. If you then need to access the things inside of each group, like I don't want them all stacked, you just double click on each group, go to the thing you want, which is in this case transform, bring it off to the side, transform, bring it off to the side, transform, bring it off behind. And so this is how I animate actions on the battle map. So if you'll see, I have right now a little file just way out at the end where I have all my units placed now I, I made this and this is what all the nodes look like so I made this before I have added in the shatter mechanic but now that I have that I can just drag these up drop them in well I guess the transform needs to go down disconnect drop in the the new function right here and be good to go anyways i hope that is useful to you guys the only other thing is i add some filters on the top to add uh, a focus blur around the corners a vignette it gives it a feeling that you're actually looking at a map deployed his saxon so soldiers in a like strong this. defensive formation Anyways, I hope this is interesting to you guys. I hope more people will Battle be lines. willing to try out these techniques because this is all completely free. Uh, just as You just got to be willing to put in the time. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm working hard at this uh, documentary now, spending a bit more time on it. So hopefully it should be doing, done in not terribly long. Nothing I can promise though. I wish you guys all the best, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, have a great one. Bye.